And now, Storm Tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Tracking snow and rain, kind of cool with this radar map. Storm Tracker actually showing the snow line. You can see we got rain and then it quickly changes over to all snow. And that line's right around Blackfoot. We got that line around Pocatello along the mountains, but in the center of town, it's liquid, and I think it'll mainly stay that way. We zoom out. There's certainly more moisture off towards the west, so that will push in late tonight. And then, well, off even farther west, things start to dry out a little bit. So tomorrow we may end up with some sunshine later in the day. Of course, tomorrow morning, if you're commuting around Idle Falls, Rexburg, Island Park, or even Blackfoot, could be pretty tedious winter driving, definitely a good possibility. So give yourself extra time off to work and school in the morning. For Pocatello, though, it might just be a wet commute more than anything. 38 degrees right now, so that's why we're looking at rain for the Gate City. American Falls is a whopping 40. Meanwhile, it's 7 degrees colder up in Idle Falls, so no wonder they're getting some snow. It's a wet snow, obviously, Rexburg as well. And it's all snow right now up around the park with a temperature of 26, above freezing in Jacks. Well, actually, just below freezing, so snow certainly there. We got more on the way. So tonight's forecast, a wintry mix. Low temperature in Pocatello will stay above freezing, so that's why it's going to be liquid. Same thing for American Falls. But you get up around Blackfoot, that could change. We could see a rain snow mix and, of course, all snow. Idaho Falls and Rexburg, which is what we've been seeing right now. Tomorrow's forecast, maybe some rain snow in the morning. Could see it pick up again. Maybe some rain showers in the afternoon for the Pocatello area. But the brunt of the moisture arrives tonight. Tomorrow, just some little leftovers. and. Well, it could end up being just a dry day overall, at least for the Snake River Plain. Future tracker, snow still going pretty good off towards the east and even pushes farther towards the southeast. So what are we looking at as far as snowfall? Snowfall tracker through tomorrow, two to four inches in Idle Falls. What a different world. Look at Pocatello, a trace, and if you blink, you'll miss it, basically. A Blackfoot could see four inches of snow. They're right in the middle there, so keeping a watchful eye on that snow line. Two to four inches in Driggs, four to six inches of snow in Jackson. And I think the spine of the Tetons, maybe 10 to 12 inches. Also the mountains just north of Alpine. So Teton Pass is going to be awful, along with Targhee Pass. Pine Creek Pass is going to be real tough tomorrow morning. And as I just mentioned, the morning commute, Idaho Falls, Bonneville, Bonneville, Madison, Jefferson County, Fremont County is going to be tough. So give yourself extra time. It could be a real slow and go. Seven day forecast. So there's that chance of rain tomorrow. Not going to get much snow in Pocatello. Maybe in the mountains, of course, around town. And then Thursday, that rain and snow you see there, that's for Thursday night. And that will turn to all snow on Friday. So there's our chance. Our chance, too, to get more snow tomorrow during the day. In Idle Falls, then Thursday, we're dry with rain and snow Thursday night, all snow on Friday. Rexburg seven-day forecast. Could see some snow Wednesday. And then Thursday, wintry mix, but not till Thursday night. So we might have a little brief little opportunity to kind of catch our breath before the next round. Teton area, snow tomorrow, dry Thursday, snow Friday, more snow Saturday, a chance of snow on Monday. And for the Central Mountains, I think overall will be dry for the next couple of days, but that changes on Friday. It's all snow. Okay, here it comes. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Doug.